So some carnivory man in a hat sent me this. It seemed to be a friendly recipe for my husband, but as a good Slav wife, I taste test everything my husband eats. I don't know who Jimmy Song is. Maybe he's a BSV shill trying to assassinate my man. So I tried it and I ate it all by myself. And I didn't even get to the ice cream part because the gloop that I, that was created was so delicious. I put this gloop in ramekins and kept it in the fridge and it's set into this beautiful chocolate mousse. So this is his recipe and I'm gonna tell you what I did different because I don't love the flavor combination of pork and chocolate. It's totally reasonable combination, but I'm not a fan of it. So you do you, I do me. Six to 10 egg yolks, one cup of heavy whipping cream, three to six tablespoons of bacon grease, three to six tablespoons of yogurt, one third of a cup of cocoa powder, sugar substitute, and collagen peptides. He says blend together and add pieces of bacon, put an ice cream machine. Um, so I don't know if he does all that raw. What I did was I did seven egg yolks. Egg yolks are beautiful. They are God's sunshine. And if you still think that egg yolks and cholesterol are bad for you, like if you're boomer health science, then you need to read the new studies. People with high cholesterol actually live longer. It's complete crap. Um, it's complete crap that egg yolks are bad for you. Uh, I did half and half because even with half and half, uh, it becomes very, very thick. So because I make mine into a custard first, I don't do it raw. So I don't need the whipping cream to thicken it. Now you could do the whipping cream simply for the fat content, but I think it'll, if you do the custard version, it'll be super, super thick. Uh, I omit the bacon stuff and I omit the yogurt and I still do one third of a cup of cocoa powder. The sugar substitute that I use is monk fruit. Stevia is disgusting. It tastes like acid burning in my mouth. I don't know how anyone tolerates it. And yes, I've tried it over the course of five years several times. These are the collagen peptides. It's very overpriced. You can probably get a cheaper version online. I also add a little bit of vanilla and of course a bit of salt. Okay, so as I mentioned, you have two options here. You don't have to put this in an ice cream maker. If you live in a cold climate or like you don't have an ice cream maker, you can just put it into ramekins, it'll set, and it is like an amazing fatty dessert. Here are the ingredients at glance. We have one third of a cup of the monk fruit sweetener, We've got one third of a cup of baking cocoa powder, we've got one third of a cup of collagen peptides, Okay, that's the cocoa powder and collagen peptides. We have one cup of half and half. We're gonna do a teaspoon of vanilla and we've got the seven egg yolks here. Uh, I've got a bunch of the whites left over. My husband just drinks those. So I don't know what you wanna do with them. I'm gonna try to make a meringue with, with the whites using the monk fruit sweetener. And uh, I don't know, I don't know if it'll whip up as well as with regular sugar, but we'll see, I'll let you know. And then we're gonna do just like a pinch of salt. You can throw that right in there. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna do the egg yolks, you're gonna put the one third of a cup of the sweetener in here, and you're gonna put the cup of half and half in here as well. And then you're going to mix. And you will be cooking this at a low heat, maybe from between four and six on your stove, depending on the stove, until it starts to thicken up. You're making a custard. So look up how to do that if you're nervous, but basically you have to keep stirring it, okay? Or else you'll get scrambled eggs. Once we're done with the custard, you're gonna sift in using a something like this. You're gonna sift in the peptides and the cocoa powder, uh, add the vanilla, um, and it's ready. You let it cool at room temperature and then you put it in your ice cream maker or you put it, in, put it into these ramekins and put it in the fridge. Okay, we're going to the stove. Keep stirring at a reasonable pace until this custard is 
thick. You see there's a lot more steam rising up from the eggs. You really want to watch it at this point because otherwise you'll get scrambled eggs. You can also smell that the egg is cooking. Okay, I just took it off the heat. Do you see the consistency we've got here? It's right about done. And now we're gonna sift in the cocoa powder and the peptides and put in a little bit of vanilla and then it'll be ready for the ice cream maker. You do wanna let it cool completely before you put it in though. Cocoa powder gets clumpy, so you really do wanna sift it. Last but not least, add a little bit of vanilla, vanilla and chocolate, our best friends, and we're done. Before I show you the ice cream, this is the mousse. So it's set nicely. Look at that. Very pretty. Yeah. I almost like the mousse more. Probably because I don't like cleaning my ice cream maker. But the taste is very uh, similar. And it's a little bit more fluffy because it's not frozen. It's done. Looks good. There's the ice cream. You can turn the ice cream maker off. Sorry, I'm eating it off camera right now. You can turn the ice cream maker off a little earlier and make it more of a soft serve. That's yummy too. Um, but yeah, thank you, Jimmy, for this awesome recipe. It's really yummy. It's not really bad for you and tastes great. So yeah, stay healthy, stay slav.